Hi there, Wendy here from Dress It Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Pennywise the Clown from the movie It. So let's get started. With Pennywise, we're going to first start by drawing his eyes. So right here, I'm going to start to draw a curve. And it's going to slant up. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just try to match this curve. And go up. And so then from there, we're going to bring in a deeper curve at the bottom. And connect it back up. So that's the general shape for his eyes that we're trying to make right here. So another. And connect it. And then from there, we're going to go inside and draw the circle. Part of a circle. So same thing on the other side. And so, wow, that looks pretty evil already, right? <laughs> okay, so then from there, we're going to draw his brow. So up here, we're going to draw this kind of like a wave of a curve. We're going to go up. And we're going to start to bring it down. So this curve is going to go beyond his eye right here. So it's going to go all the way up. And so same thing on this side. And go up. And past. Okay, so then from there, let's come down about right here and we're going to draw his nose. So come down about right here and we're going to draw his little clown nose. So we're just going to bring it, taper in and connect it. And then from there, under that, we're going to draw his mouth. So right under it, we're going to draw a smile, kind of curve. And we're going to bring it in deeper with another deeper curve. So this is going to be his bottom lip and bring it up. And then come in here and to draw his lip. And just come back in here and we're going to have his teeth in here. So just kind of darken it right there. And in the center, just draw a line. So for his little the gap in his tooth, in his teeth, I mean. So we got his lips in. So then come right here and we're going to draw a curve to cap off his mouth. Okay, so that's the general, um, the eyes and the mouth. And I'll go back in there later to um, add some more details to it. But for right now, um, I just want to get in the general shapes first so that we can go back up and draw his face. So I'm going to go up, straight up, pretty high up because he has a really high forehead and so that's what makes um, Pennywise his distinct features is really huge forehead that he has. So I'm going to go straight up about let's say about this high and I'm just going to draw a little curve and from there I'm going to bring a bigger curve around and same thing on this side. So whatever curve just um, make sure you don't go too far out because his eyes are right here. You want to bring it down to his face. So then come around and come to where his brow is. Bring that curve down to where his brow is. That's why we're drawing the eyes and the mouth and, um, first because this is a more complicated shape than my usual draw so cute drawings. So this way it's just easier to figure out how to draw his face shape. So from there, we're going to tuck it in a little bit. Start to bring it in a little bit where his eyes are. And then from there, we're going to start to bring out some cheeks. So come out. Right there. Okay, so now his center. So make it easier. Come right under his lips and we're going to draw a little chin. So you know where to bring this um, and curve into. So right here, we're going to just bring it up and connect it. And connect it. So there. I hope I made that a little bit easier for you guys to follow. So you want this big forehead, bring it in where his eyes are and then bring out some cheeks and back to his chin. So I'll go in there later to um, fill it in with the eyes and stuff because I'm using a thicker Sharpie and my drawing is not that big. So now I'm going to move on to his hair. So I'm going to come up here and we're going to start with a curve that goes up from right there. 
about this high and then we're going to bring some zigzags in and bring it out. So this side we're going to do the same thing, bring it out. So now we have the top of his hair and from there we're going to start to sweep it out. So come right there and bring out this big curve. And he has his hair that comes all the way down. So just also once again zigzags and in this little nuke right here, before we finish it, in this little nuke we're going to put his ears. So just draw a little curve that comes about so. Come to the other side. So if you notice, I am not putting in much details right now because I'm using a thicker Sharpie and this drawing is not that big so I don't want to muddle things up. So I'll go back in there with a thinner Sharpie later and um, fill in the eyes and things like that. So from there we know where his ears are. We're going to tuck in this curve about right there where his ears are. So same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to go across about right here just so I know it's about where I want to start to curve it out. And once again same thing. Just bring in and same thing as the other side, just tuck it in right at the ear. Okay, so we've got his hair in now. Now let's draw that all that ruffle around his neck. So I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to go across, so it should end about right there. And I'm just going to draw this ruffle all around his neck. I'm just going to keep going. and go around his neck. And there's going to be another layer. So we come here, lower. And so you don't want to follow exactly the same curve. Sometimes just random, make it random. So you don't want to follow the top curve too much. And tuck it back in. Like that. So we got the ruffles in. Now to draw his body. So I'm going to come right here, center, and draw two angle lines. So this part is a little bit simpler, thank goodness. <laughs> so about, let's say, about this long, and I'm going to connect it. And from there I'm going to bring in another line. So this is that band on his top. And right here in the center I'm going to draw a little Curve. So it's kind of like a circle, another full circle right here, one full circle and another full circle right here. So for those are those little red balls on his um, top right there. And from there I'm going to bring out that little poof for his pants. So I'm going to poof it out. Kind of drawing a skirt I guess. And right here in the center, I'm going to bring a straight line down. So about right there. And then I'm going to come bring this in and connect it. Okay, so for some details, come in here and draw another curve because there's two parts to that part of his um, his pants. So I'm going to pop it out a little bit so you know that there's two layers. And then from there, let's draw his legs. So I'm going to come here and give it a slight bow. So it looks a little bit creepier, I think. So a little bow to his legs. So make sure it's about right there. And connect it. Okay, so then from there we're going to pop out the ruffles that are around the ankle part right here. And once again, just connect it. And for his shoes. So I'm going to continue slightly this curve, come out. And his shoes. So I'm come in here. Just connect it. Nice and simple. So come out. 
and connect it. So then for a big detail right here, he has that red ball. So I'm just going to put one, two of them right here on top of his shoe. And I'll draw, um, draw the details later too. And then, so now his arms. So right here, I'm going to bring out a ruffle, a big poof. Right there. And then another smaller poof for his sleeves. And connect it. Right here, connect it. So there's two layers. And his arms. So bring out two angle lines, tapering as you go, and connect it. And once again, more ruffles, and connect it. So I know this drawing is pretty complicated, it has so many details. So please don't give up. I hope I'm making it a little bit easier for you guys to draw this awesome Pennywise right here. So I'm going to come in here. So just give yourself a little point so you kind of know where you need to go on the other side. So connect it on both sides. And so same thing once again. Two angle lines. And connect. And so once again, the little poofy part. And his hand. So this hand right here, I'm just going to have it come down with a thumb. And then his fingers. Okay, so then this hand, if you want exactly the same, just do the same thing right here. But this hand, I'm going to have it hold a balloon. So I'm going to bring in a thumb. And then this part is going to angle in. And tuck inside. So then the balloon will hang from right there. So um, you know what? Let's let's draw the balloon now, right? <laughs> okay. So if you want to give him a balloon, just bring a straight line up from right there. Go all the way up. So go, let's say, about right there. And I'm gonna draw the top of the the bottom of the balloon, and then bring in a nice size balloon. So there. Oops. And then from there. Okay, so he has the balloon now. So then I'm going to come in here with my um, Fender Sharpie now to draw in all the little details. So the first detail I wanted to share with you right here, to do with you right here, is to make these eyes. So I know it's really small, but I still wanted to put in my draw circuit eyes. So I have that curve, and I'm just going to draw some little lines inside. So same thing on this side. A little highlight, a curve, shade in the top, and the lines at the bottom. Okay, so I've got the creepy eyes in. So I'm going to come back in here with my Sharpie and thicken the eyes. It's very important to make these eyes nice and dark. Okay, so same thing on this side. Nice and dark. And also his brow. You want to pop that out too. And make it darker. Okay, so then the other detail that I wanted to um, go um, show you right here is that mark that he has on his um, face. So right here where this little cap line is for his mouth, I'm going to go up with a curve. And same thing here. Come up to his eye. And then from right here, just imagine going through his eyes, about right here is going to come up and curve. So same thing on this side. So go up. Into his eye. And then about right here is where it will curve up. Like that. 
So then everything else I'm going to do for now is just detail lines. So I'm just going to go ahead really quickly for like for his, for his hair. So this is just all details you can add if you want. So there, my Jurassic Q Pennywise from the movie It. I know it's really creepy, right? But I hope you think I'm, um, I made it cute also. So thanks so much for watching. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Q videos. See you later.